Hello and welcome back to the channel Broadside. As I'm sure you all have heard, there will be a new Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Mirage. Normally I wouldn't touch on this topic until we have more official details, but Ubisoft has confirmed that this will be the name of the next title. And it seems likely that the remaining unconfirmed rumors are true, so I thought I would share some details about those rumors and the potential historical backdrop that we'll be experiencing. To begin with, let's go over the rumors. Okay, it seems like most people have cited at Mr. Underscore Rebs Underscore for the information on the leak, and that account cites Jonathan with the O being a zero on YouTube uh, for the information that they share. Um, that video is completely in French. I do not speak French, uh, but we're going to have to trust the translation that the Twitter account at Mr. Underscore Rebs Underscore cites or uh, shares. So we'll go from there. Those are the sources. We've stated them. Now let's move on to some of the main takeaways. We know for a fact that it will be called Assassin's Creed Mirage. Official information will be coming on September 10th at the Ubisoft Forward event at 12 p.m. PT. We have also seen an official image in which a hooded figure leaps through the air with an eagle in the background. And the setting is clearly Middle Eastern, but I'm not knowledgeable enough on that region to certify exactly what city this would be. I'm sure other people probably could, I cannot. Now, we know for a rumor that this game is supposed to revolve around Basim from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that it will take place sometime around the 860s, and that the setting should be in Baghdad. Those are all the rumors we've heard. They go on to explain that this is supposed to be a dramatic shift back to earlier Assassin's Creed games, like the ones that we've been playing on this channel, and less RPG-like. Supposedly, there are set to be multiple cities to explore, and that these will be separated by rivers and deserts similar to Assassin's Creed 1. So what does this mean for those who enjoy the games for their locations and historical events? Well, if the rumors are to be true fact, then we have a potentially very interesting game ahead of us, folks. This is my favorite time of year. <laughs> the t well, not time of year, but time of however long it takes to make a new Assassin's Creed game. So I'll set the scene. The potential scene. The year, 861. The location, the Abbasid Caliphate. This was the third caliphate to succeed the Islamic prophet Muhammad, and it has recently experienced its 100-year anniversary, spreading all the way from Tunisia down to Yemen and over to Turkmenistan. The Abbasid Caliphate sits on the edge of disaster. Al Mutawakil, I'm going to butcher these names, I apologize. The 10th Abbasid Caliph rests in his chamber having supper with his secretary, Al-Fath. Men burst into that chamber, killing both the Caliph and Al-Fath, and thus begin the tumultuous period known as Anarchy at Samara. Samara is the capital of this Caliphate during this time period. Over the next nine years, violent successions and extreme internal instability would bring this great empire near the brink of collapse. As is often the case with Assassin's Creed games, the developers seem to pick a time of significant change with significant people. People and events that altered the world. My preliminary research is that this time period fits that bill really well. There was an awful lot of murder, an awful lot of intrigue and excitement during this time period, and that usually translates to interesting storylines. Without knowing for a fact that this is the when and the where, I won't go into much further detail, but suffice to say, I'm quite excited if this is the time period we're going to see. Now, I'm not nearly an expert on this topic, but I'll certainly work to become more educated on it as we progress further to the rumored release, which is early 2023, though we'll know for a fact on September 10th. For now, I'm actually quite excited for this upcoming title and hopeful that it can trim some of the excess that has appeared 
more and more in these games. I hope the 10th brings great news to everyone interested in the series, and thank you so much for listening and watching.